Hey there friends, Martin from Matthews Studio Equipment coming to you from my backyard, Matthews University. It's really hot out. I'm under a 40 by 40 full silk here to bring me down a bit, but you can tell it's kind of scorching back here. So let's get into it. Apple boxes, so cool, so important. They might look simple to folks who don't know about them, but if you've been on a film set, in a photo studio, on a grip truck, you know how important these are guys are. They're literally the building blocks of our industry. So let's get into it. Learning about the gear, talking about the features, talking about the usage of the amazing Apple Box. We have our mini Apple Boxes here, our mini set, and then our standard set of Apple Boxes over here. That's probably going to fall over again, so don't be surprised. Here we go, the full Apple, the flagship of the Apple Box. Yes, they are all important. You're all very important and we love you very much, but the full Apple is what it's all about. Here we go. We got 12 inches by 20 inches by 8 inches. That's the standard dimension. It's really cool to have that in your head and to know the dimension so you can plan things out and geek out about grip stuff. When you're just lying in bed, unable to sleep, you can think, hmm, 12 inches by 20 inches by 8 inches. Yes, this will work. Anyhow, maybe that's just me. Here we go. This Apple box, very important. They're used. Well, let's talk about where it came from. They say that back in the day, they would bring crates of apples to set so that the crew folks, so that the worker people can have snacks and eat and be fueled throughout their day with delicious energy from delicious apples. And then they would take those crates and say, bring me an apple crate and we'll prop that up or we'll prop this thing up. And ah, the apple box is born. Whether it's true or not, it's a cute little story, so I'm going to stick with it, and it seems pretty plausible. So let's talk about the Apple Box. What is it used for? It's used to prop up the camera, prop up the actor, prop up the, uh, the camera operator, uh, set, set dressing a little higher, be able to raise up. We got helicopters inbound. We're going to roll right through it. We prop up chairs, tables, uh, furniture, couches, bureaus, whatever it is. If you need to lift it up a little bit to get it into frame and make everything look nice, there you have it. Apple boxes are going to do the trick. If you need to build a ramp into set, onto stage, a staircase, whatever it is, these are wonderful tools to have. They're extremely versatile. They're very strong. And I think they're one of the most important pieces of gear that you have on set. Many departments use them, but the grips are the ones that normally carry them. If you're really smart and you're in any department, you get yourself your Apple box, you write your name on it, and you say, that's my Apple, I'm going to need it all the time. There you have it. And a little advice, get yourself your own Apple box, make it yours, paint it pretty, put stickers and flowers on it, spray paint it, whatever you want. Apple boxes can be your best friend. Let's get on to the build of this guy. Nine ply Baltic birch. So you don't want hardwood because it's going to be really heavy and it's not going to have the flexibility that it needs. Uh, and you don't just want standard plywood because it's not going to be strong enough. It's going to be maybe too flexible. So if people that are making their own apple boxes, they go out there and they get standard four ply plywood or whatever it is, it's not going to be the best material to use. What is the best material you ask? Well, we use nine ply Baltic birch. That's a standard over at Matthews. It gives you the flexibility that you need, but also the strength that you need. So nine ply Baltic birch is what we use. It's amazing. It's wonderful. We all love it. Uh, what else is really cool about this is that in the middle of all of our full apples, our half apples and our quarter apples, we have a center support. I wish we could see in here and see what I'm talking about. Well, guess what? I happen to have an apple box here that's open so we can look at what I'm talking about. This center support, this brace right here, gives the box the rigidity that it needs. Uh, when you put an apple box down, just like so, this is where people step on it. This is where people use to brace, you know, to raise up a couch, to raise up dolly track, whatever it is, you use the center of the box. So that's where you're gonna wanna have extra strength and rigidity. Then our center supports, that's what they do. You'll also notice that there's hand holes in those center supports. Why is that? Well, if you want to send an Apple box up to a guy on a rooftop, up to a grip in a scissor lift, in a bucket of a boom lift on a rooftop, in the green beds, whatever it is, you don't just want to tie a rope around the whole thing and send it up. That rope could easily slip right off. You want to send it through the Apple box, through the outside handhold, through the center brace handhold, and out the other end, tie a nice bowline, Whatever you're going to tie, I recommend a bowline, and you send it up. 
it's secure, it's great. If you want to strap this guy down to a process trailer, to a deck, to a scaffolding, you want to strap it down and make a step, make whatever you're going to do, you don't want to put the ratchet strap around the outside of it because people could snag their toe on that ratchet strap, they could trip. What you want to do is send that ratchet strap through the handhold, through the center of the box, out the other end, strap it down. You now have a secure way to tie the apple box down without having anything over the surface that you're going to be using to step on, to prop things up on. Whatever it is, it's a much better way to do it. And that center uh, brace with a hole in it makes that possible. So non-ply Baltic birch is what we're talking about. The dimensions, let's get into it. If you know that this is going to be 12 inches by 20 inches for the full by eight inches, then the dimension of the half is going to be that same 12 by 20 but we've cut this in half and it is now four you go to the quarter and you have two inches you go to the eighth and you have one inch also known as a pancake these dimensions are wonderful when you get into the minis you have those similar dimensions except we've taken that 20 foot end and that's now 10 inches really useful when you're in the back seat of a car in a broom closet uh, in the seats at a movie theater in bleachers anywhere where you have a small footprint available uh, on the end table uh, supporting a lamp on the end of a couch and like hey we need to raise that lamp up a little bit you can use this little guy it'll fit right on that end table without hanging over the side it's a lot more compact but it still gives you a wonderful ability to stack things up the minis are very important the fools are very important many tools for the toolbox you don't have a single wrench in your tool kit in your toolbox to be able to do every job you have different tools for different jobs different solutions there you have it we have our full set that can raise up in single inch increments from one inch all the way to 27 inches that's really cool let me explain what i'm talking about here we go let's put these aside and say we want to raise something on set one inch. They say, all right, grip, go out there and raise that lamp up one inch. And you say, no problem. I got this eighth apple, this pancake, going to go down. And you're saying, one inch, there you go, boss. That's, that lamp is raised up one inch. And I say, you know what? I'm thinking two inches might do the trick, grip. So you say, no problem. We got you this, this quarter apple. There you go. Two inches up, boss. How's it looking? They say, you know what? Three inches is really going to be able to tell the story. So let's do it. We're going to add that pancake, and now you have three inches. You have one, two, and three inches now. And they say, you know, the director might be right. He wants to see it raise up four inches. You say, four inches, we got you covered. There you go, four inches we've raised up. And they say, you know what, how about five? There you go, there's five inches. They say, how about we go for six? Six inches, boss, how's it look? You know, we're getting somewhere. How about seven? All right, seven inches look good. They say, you know... Let's try the full apple. Let's go a whole eight inches up. No problem. You've made it all the way from one to eight inches in single inch increments. Now you have nine. Now you have 10. Now you have 11. I'm sweating profusely. Now you have 12. So on and so forth until you're going up like this and then like this all the way up to 27 inches. So I think my little story lets you know what I'm talking about. You're able to go from one inch to 27 inches, single inch increments. I think I've beat that one to death there. Let me uh, get a little bit of this makeup. We got someone swimming profusely on set. All right, so really important things about Apple boxes to know where the dimensions are, what they're made up of. That center brace, really important. What they're used for. We now know raising up your camera operator, raising up the talent, raising up the camera, raising up a couch, a table. A lot of people ask me, well, what's a good amount of Apple boxes for my, for my kit? You know, I'm, I'm building a, a grip gear package. What's a good amount? Well, if you're just starting out and you're just starting to get your gear, I say four of each is very important because if you're raising up a table, a couch, uh, a bureau, whatever it is, most of the times it's going to have four corners. That way you'll have four quarters four pancakes or eighth apples, four halves and four fulls to be able to raise everything up evenly. So four of each is very important, yet you're always going to want to have two more fulls because 
they're going to get gobbled up right away. People want to sit on them. They want to put their lattes on them. They want to give them to an assistant so they can take them to some part of the house that nobody's ever been to and leave them there and not tell anybody about them. And then they put their Cheeto wrappers in here. It's all part of the game. Get a few extra full apples. If you're going to get eight of each, get four extra full apples. Whatever it is, have full apples at the ready because people are going to want them. Uh, the same with these little guys. <coughs> I would say with the minis, you're going to want four of each. Once again, raising up tables, bureaus, couches, whatever it is. You're going to want at least three if you're putting a tripod up on them. You know, it kind of makes sense. So there you have it. Apple boxes. They're amazing. We love them. We need them. Thank you. Awesome story about bringing apples for the crew guys and the crew ladies to be able to, to stay nourished and, and have energy all day long and to give us apple crates, which turned into apple boxes. Matthews University getting into the gear. We love you. Take care of each other. See you soon.